All right, hello and welcome back to Space Engineers The Martian, the episode three. And today we just have to pretty much get all the other stuff done for the MAV, uh, to get the MAV off the planet, sorry. And it's mostly just converting the rover over, which I pretty much have all the tools to make a tank if I have to. Doesn't sound like I'm standing on glass. Um, but I need to actually move hydrogen to the ship as well. So I'm going to have to build a tank on it, use the piping system to get it over there, and then we'll be able to get off this damn rock. And hopefully this will be a shorter episode because I'm going to try and split these two or three last little bits up into two episodes so it's not super long like the first two were. Get them down to about 25, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. But uh, let's roll that intro and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so here we go. Let's get that counter going, and then we'll be uh, ready to go. And there it is. All right, so I guess first things first, I will be building the tank, but uh, let's get this stuff entered into my GPS so I don't forget about it later. Which, because of this, I could just copy-paste it, and it'll be a lot easier to deal with if it will let me do it. Sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. There, see, it worked there. Wow. Okay. But well, it won't let me do it at all. That's awesome. No. That. Barely read it underneath. I might have to do this a different way here. Oh wait, never mind. Wow. Didn't even notice that before. So there's that one and that one. So there's the actual MAV site, and then there's the place we gotta go out in space. So let's see. Meeting points way up there. And where's the MAV? I don't see, oh there it is, way over there. Okay, so oh, cool. Got some of that stuff going. Let's fix this floor, even though I don't really need it right now. But just to do it. Alrighty. I sound a little different than it's uh it's because of the moisture difference in this room. I've been I've been on water for like the last three days. Trying to clean up like the dry throat issues and all that. But let's get this ink out of here. Gotta get another hydrogen tank. I don't get it. Why didn't that fill up? Oxygen.
There's one. Oh, I see. Okay. Too full, it won't pick it up. I gotta have a tank. That way it can uh, hold all that gear. Turn around here. Probably would have been easier if I actually uh, drove the rover over there. Boom. Gotta love that hit when you hit something. Apparently, I was not allowed to carry all that. Ah, voice crack. Inventory full. I already knew that. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. So my one issue I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have to put a tank on there. Inventory full. And have Inventory it be full. piped some way from the large connector, which this container is gonna be in the way for that, but I can't uh, can't move it anyway. Now look at that. Things full. I honestly don't think I need all this, but it never hurts to carry stuff when you need when you don't need it. That way when I get over at the Mav, I don't have to worry about it um, being broken or something like that. At least carry some materials. Alright, so now I gotta build a tank. Oh, that moved. I didn't touch it, but... Uh... I wasn't going to need steel to start on. Tank. Oh, it does have small ports on it. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Get this out of the way. Oh. Man, that's a bad idea. Get. Oh. I can lay it down instead of having it like that. Alright, so I'm not going to use what's in there just in case. Use what's in here. Come on. Throw wheels messed up. My computer, small tubes, large team. Small tubes, large team. A lot more of each.
Oh, just build, build, build. Now I gotta build pipes. I'll only need these here. And materials, obviously. That. Oh, I need interior plate for this? Oh yeah. I forgot. and motors. Okay, so I need like five, six more of these. This side. I always do both sides. You never know if you're going to break stuff. There we go. Now that's all piped. Should be filling up actually. Now that it's the only hydrogen tank hooked up to the base. Got a green light. He is filling up. Did I already use all that up? Yeah, I did. Oh. Okay, so there's a couple more of those, a couple more of those, and it's done. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Mary Poppins can't sue me. You can try, but they won't. All right, so I need a little bit of steel. Oh, my oxygen is really low. It's an oxygen tank. Put that at. In here. Oh, that's the one on the ship. Um, that's kind of weird, but okay. Oh, that oxygen is just getting annihilated. There's some in here. I wish I had an interface. Wait, I do. I gotta sit Shift in here. Fuel critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're charging. Sorry. I have D. I need the oxygen generator that is not colored. There's a tank. That's the one I'm in. Boom. Alright, time to check the tank. I can always put a connector on here, which is Kind of why I did it this way. I didn't really say that earlier, but that's sort of what I was thinking. I always put a connector on here and then put a connector to the MAV and hook it up that way. Or I can always just do that connector some other way, like building a platform or whatever. We'll have to see when we get over there, but um, this was originally to just 
check it. Don't look at that, it's filled. Okay. So does that say that I got the objective complete then? If it does, I can take that off here in a minute. Alright, no, I guess it doesn't really tell me, but that's fine. Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong stuff. There we go. That's what I wanted. You fill up. Is there any way I can these things to fill really quick? I don't know, should I take some of the uh, ice with me just so I can build some hydrogen when I'm there? Eh, whatever. I don't know. The amount I have in there should be enough for now. So unconnect. Nope. Is it back up? Turn the generator on. Why aren't we moving? Ship fuel critical. I do not understand this right now. Why is the battery, like, not working? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. Now it's working fine, but whatever. I'll take it. Get the lights on even though I don't need them. Alright, so since this is a really, really far distance, this will be another one of those... I'll catch you guys in a minute once I get there, so catch you guys in a minute. All right, well, here we are. We're about 800 away, and you can see it down there now at the crest of this hill, and I will have to take my time to get down there because this hill is steep. And honestly, I think I might have to go around a little bit here. There's actually a good little spot, like, right there. That I can go down. Otherwise, the rest of this is just mountain. Might be able to get back down behind me, but I'm gonna try going around instead. Make sure I don't break the rover. All I need is have to go back to base to get more hydrogen because I broke the tank. But it was a long trip. It was about the same uh, time as it was to get out to the ice for episode one, about 15 minutes or so. Uh, if you could do the math on the timer up top for when you saw the last, ch uh, clip to this. Actually, you know what? I can try and get down right here. I got gyros, so... Be able to angle it if I need to. Yeah, that, no, that is way too steep. Not trying that. Question is, how am I going to get down there? Should have put thrusters on this. I could just go float down there.
Yeah, that little hole over there probably would have been my best bet, but whatever. I can try right here too, I think. I think this will be about... About the same, excuse me there. Even though you didn't hear it, but... I had to cough. This might be a good spot to get down. Depends upon the angle, we'll see how that horizon line flies up. Oh, almost tipped it. Yeah, this will be a good spot. A little fast, but just break it a little bit with space. Especially on these parts where I don't know if you guys can really tell. But just in front of the rover, you can see, like, the bumpy ground, and now we're hitting it. Which is not a good thing to go flying over, because it will throw you out. Or throw you up, depending upon if you're going down or uphill. Got a couple of spots on the way here that were like that. A couple of big hills and mountains, too, but for the most part, it wasn't too bad. Alright, so I guess on this one I should have brought I should have built the damn connector. I forgot to do that before I left. But I'm sure I could salvage some of this rover now that I don't really need it. With the exception of the tires and the batteries and all that. Oh there's never mind, there's crates here. If there's a way I can try to hook this thing up and we don't have to worry about it. Which uh it doesn't look like it. Alright, turn the braking on. Hop out. Alright, so there is a connector underneath. But these corners are in the way, so I won't be able to get in there. So I'm just going to take these off. Or at least this one. And just to be safe, I'll take this one off too. And then we'll get in there with the connector because I can actually put a connector directly on top of this crate and it should be about the level that I need actually there. oh look at that it's like exactly the size now the question is if I have the materials what's in here um, stuff I don't need right now. Eh, there's a bunch of stuff I need. So let's dump this and this. And now nah, I'll keep that. That. I don't think I need that actually. I need that. Move the rover over there so it's closer. Sorry for the bounciness. Made the rover with just two wheels and both of them do turning, so. Front and rear steering, pretty much. Alright, computer motor stall tubes, that's all I need. Computer motor stall tube. There you go. All right, so the only other thing I might have to do is pipe up this oxygen generator to this hydrogen tank, or at least to the cargo, so I can have it uh, fill this tank if need be. So now, let's try and drive this underneath there, which I guarantee it ain't gonna fit. But uh, it's worth a try, I guess. Gonna be too tall or something. Oh wow. 
it might actually work. I might have to take this other one off, though. Yep. Oh, I need my tools. Oh, is the, it, <laughs> the antenna's in the way. Let me back it in there. Let's see if that'll work. There we go. Give me a rear camera here. I should have also built a remote on this so I could actually pilot it remotely. Um. Yeah, that should be good enough. Uh, let's see if it'll connect. All right, good. That should be enough distance. Now I gotta turn this one on. Lock is on. Why, uh, why isn't the thing on? Is there even a power source? The door. There's the door. What? Yeah, there's no power. Um, I wonder if there's actually a power source, so let's see. Remote control. There it is. Cool. There we go. We got connection. Fuck. There we go. Now this tank should be emptying up into the other one. Um, but I might have to... Yeah, it's getting hydrogen. Might have to see if the tank's actually on there. Alright, so this is looks like this is gonna be the last episode here is lightening up the Mav. 15%, that's all I need. Oh, I see. You put a ton of plate in here just so it was heavy as hell. Um, there's the remote. Oh, I'm supposed to have a flight seat up there, I guess. Uh, seat. Uh, I just have to actually go get my gear. I think I need to switch this tank to something different as well, because it's not emptying out. I might have to switch the onboard one to stockpile, and that will start emptying. Yep, there it goes. So this one's going to get filled up, and this one's definitely too small, so... See how high that gets. This sucker's empty already. Yeah. 8%. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do my idea of piping this generator back here over to that. Ow. Which means I need my grinder. Alright, let's see here. Where's the connectors on this? This should be... I don't remember if they're at the bottom or if they're at the top. Looks like I just look with the lights. Yeah, there's one right there. So I'll have to go... Center. Yep. Okay. 
Um, I'm halfway tempted just to pipe it straight out to the side. And then do it that way. That'll be a lot easier to deal with. But I don't need the connector anymore. Tubes. I'll do the seat later. Since I pretty much can't do anything with it right now. Here you're late. So I need to go in line with right here. planted so I suppose that'll be the rest of this episode is finishing this up getting it all piped and everything and then we will uh let the tank fill up and then take off. Or never mind, I have to I have to do a couple of things on the next episode, which I will do um, on the next episodes. Get this thing piped just so we could get some more hydrogen, because apparently that's not enough. Are you gonna break everything if I do that? some of you are going to say with this is how would that work but it's piped on the other side that's why I did both sides um I can actually just remove the tank that's uh it's pretty much going to be like that anyway Mind it being dark. Actually, it's not even getting. Oh, yeah, it's getting dark. Sun's going down. Yeah. It's not even getting dark, but never mind. I realized that the sun actually is going down. Don't need lights on the rear. Now it's piped. The only issue is, is there's no other extra oxygen. Yeah, that's not even filling up.
Battery actually charging? All right, let's see, uh, get the, um, door at. So lost. There's the door. Get the chair made. And I can, uh, figure out what to do from there. is where's all the cargo just down inside because yeah, I can't move nothing between uh, oh man yep there it is dip of nothing but cargoes I guess we're pushing the 30 to 40 minute mark here, so uh, I guess I'll have to do another run uh, next time back to get more ice or more hydrogen, which I'll probably just get more ice because I do have an oxygen generator here, or I'll at least bring the parts to make a large one and then just pipe it to the ship. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that'll, be that'll be determined next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, click the links on your screen. If you're not subscribed, click that skull and get subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next one.